Hey everybody, it's Sal here again with another video. Um, it's a few days I'm late. I could have had one out uh, four days ago, but I really wasn't feeling well and I'm still a little bit under the weather. Anyway, enough of the bullshit. Let's get down to the tech, uh, the subject at hand. It's uh, streaming your movies from your computer to your uh, uh, PlayStation 3. Now this, is, uh, this method is also compatible with the Xbox and um, the software we're going to use is the PS3 media server uh, but at the end of the video I'm going to be plugging in a uh, 360 to show you that this works with, th with the 360 as well now everyone knows that yeah you can uh, <clears throat> you can serve your media files uh, from your computer to your PS3 at least maybe most of you know uh, so what, what that means is if you have download some media music or mu movies or whatever to your computer you no longer have to carry them over, over on a USB key uh, to your uh, console, PS3 or Xbox. You can just stream them right through and once you're done with them, go back to your computer and just delete them. So that's really, really handy. It's an awesome feature. Now, Windows Media Player does this, does this for you already. It serves media um, Windows right, right out of the box. Uh, nothing much to configure just turn on the media sharing option and uh, you're good to go what the PS3 media server does is actually decode more than what Windows a media player can decode so it's really handy and, and let me just tell you if a lot of a lot of you are asking oh you know what's what's the PS3 media server all about uh, and it's just a media server uh, written in Java and it's for streaming and transcoding any kind of media file files with minimum configuration uh, and it uses the mplayer ffmpeg packages uh, also I'm just getting that off the website um, now some things that um, that uh, it can do is play HD files Okay, I believe that's MKV. I have yet to do that. Uh, it says here DVD ISO images. Okay, uh, video TS folder transcoder. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. You don't have to burn your images to DV to disk now. You can just play them. Uh, uh, basic Xbox 360 support. It states that right in their features. Uh, it, it does a lot. The website uh, to download the uh, media server is uh, just go to ps3mediaserver.org and it'll take you to, uh, to to its forum and it's in the forums where you can down actually it'll point you to the Google Google code website uh, which is code.google.com slash P as in Paul slash ps3 media server that'll take you right to the code the project home Okay, and you can download it straight from there. Now, ps3mediaserver.org, again, will take you to the forum. If you need any help, uh, even suggestions to improve the software, you can go there. So, here's what you're going to need. You're going to have to download three items. First one is the PS3 Media Server. I told you where to get that. The second is the AVI Synth uh, Installer. Okay, I'll put that uh, in, the, uh, in the notes where you can download that directly. Okay, and finally, it's the Windows 7 codec pack. Okay, uh, if you have any other codec pack, that's fine. Like the K Lite Mega Codec Pack, I guess they all do the same thing. There's also a Vista codec pack. Uh, I'll put that download link uh, as well. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna you're gonna download all three uh, uh, all three items. Install all three items. Give your computer a restart because it's Windows. Uh, I just restarted. <laughs> any time after I install or uninstall and you're pretty much good to go after that there's very little configuration I don't think I did any configuration now let's get down to the media when you download your movie uh, sometimes it comes with a with a uh, subtitle uh, text file or whatever an SRT file most most of the time or ASS and there's one more which I can't remember right now Make sure that subtitle file is with the movie and it's titled the exact same title as the movie file. 
So if the movie is um, Valentine's Day 2009, make sure it's exactly the same Valentine's Day 2009. And most of the time, if you if you do download the movie and it comes with a uh, subtitle file, it uh, it's usually already named the same. But if you go out and have to download one from a subtitle website, just download it, give it the same title as your video file, and you should be fine. That's what I had to do when I thought of this uh, video. I was like, oh shit, I gotta find a movie with subtitles to, to, you know, to put on the video. Anyways, that's it. Like I said, minimal configuration. There's no screenshots for me to show you because you just download, install, restart, and you're good to go. Now, I'm gonna play back what I did uh, after this, when I, after I'm done my, uh, my blab here. I'm going to uh, uh, show you on screenshot uh, navigating through the Xbox to the uh, video files and getting your movies to play with the subtitles. Um, and I guess that's it. Uh, I told you what you needed. You'll find the links in the notes and uh, it does work and you're going to see an example of that right now. Uh, if you found this video uh, useful and if you like my other videos or heck maybe if you just uh, you know like my face on uh, YouTube uh, please subscribe to my uh, subscribe to my channels uh, like I say in every uh, video I make always looking for new subscribers subscribe 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 please and uh, I also have a website like I said uh, at the beginning where uh, anyways enough of that let's get on with this video we're gonna end it off right now with me navigating on the Xbox hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe okay so we go into video library and we see here that the ps3 media server is highlighted select that now uh, you're gonna select videos and now you're gonna search for the actually no you're gonna go into the transcode folder which is right up at the top then we're going to look for our movie okay which is um, it's uh, this one here it actually appears as a folder every movie is uh, appears as a folder so select the folder that corresponds to your movie that you want then you have four options um, you're going to select the option that says M encoder external subtitles. Okay, so that's going to play the movie with the subtitles. Okay. Now I'm actually going to cut it here and just go straight into the movie. There you go. You see the subtitles appear? All right. Well, hope you've, hopefully you'll enjoyed you've enjoyed this movie, and um, you'll uh, hopefully you find it useful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit my website, salchampa.com, uh, where you'll find uh, other notes, other posts, and uh, other videos that you may not find on the uh, on my main YouTube channel. Um, that's still a work in progress, but uh, yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Ciao.